Hi, this is Jay from Encodian. So I've just created a short video that's going to show you how to parse um, the JSON data you've provided into a CSV file. There's a couple of gotchas along the way, so I'm just going to mock this up for you. Um, the first thing we do is create a variable to, to store the, um, the, the CSV data that we're going to produce. So just call that CSV data. We're going to call it of type string. Uh, we're going to create another variable um, which will be the uh, the JSON data that we're passing in. Um, I did notice as well there was a slight issue with the JSON. There was an extra comma that shouldn't be there, but I'll, I'll show that as we go. So just call that JSON. Just call this CSV so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so let's just... We don't need to pop anything in the CSV file. In the JSON, we obviously need to put the data in. Um, let's just copy that out of... Power Automate and pop it back in. So, so there's the JSON. There's the bit to watch out for is that comma there. That shouldn't be there. Um, so there we go. That's tidied up. Um, so the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to pass this JSON um, so that we can, we can use it within our flow. So super simple. Just add a pass JSON action. There we go. And we're going to pass in the JSON data. We're going to generate it from a sample, so I'm just going to copy and paste in. You can see there's that comma that shouldn't be there, so just get rid of that. And that's going to generate a schema for me. Brilliant. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to start building out the CSV file. I'm going to do that by appending data uh, onto the uh, CSV file string. So we're just going to do append and append to string variable. And here's where one of the gotchas is. So let's do the header first. Let's just call that rename header. Uh, we can we can type this bit in to be fair because it's just it's just data. Now the bit this is a bit of a gotcha. You need to make sure you hit a carriage return to put an extra line in because if you don't do that, you won't get an extra line in your CSV file, so it won't look like it's properly formatted. So I'm going to click new step again. This time we're going to start building out those rows. So append, um, append to string variable. And this time we're going to build a row for NXN. So let's just pull that CSV data and let's just type that in. Row data NXN. And basically we just need to, we just need to pick up those properties now from past JSON. So I think the first one was base and we've got comma. And I think it was date, comma, and then you've got NXN, comma, and then the NXN value, which is so and forth. And again, you need to make sure you hit enter to create that new line, and that'll put a new line into your resulting CSV file. Uh, and then we can just basically, let's copy this, speed it up, copy to clipboard. And I've got two now. That's interesting. Where'd that come from? Uh, right, rename href, and this time we can just change that to href. You can see that the, the new line's in there, so we can just get rid of that and select the href value. And we will just do the same again. And this time it is the myr value. MYR. Let's just tidy that up. Again, we can see that that new, that new row is there. And that is pretty much the CSV file created. So we'll just do a create file and we'll pop it into OneDrive. So I'll just pop that onto, I'll pop onto the root for now, it's fine. Oops, helps if you select it, doesn't it? Which I have done. Oh, maybe that's why I can't put it in. Sorry, just being a bit slow this morning. So let's just put that to support. Um, data dot C or community data dot CSV. And the file content we're just going to do is we should pass the string value in, uh, and that should be it. So we're just passing the CSV data. So that's the flow. Pretty straightforward. Um, in essence, we've got two variables. Obviously, you probably don't need one for the JSON because you'll have it coming from somewhere else. We're going to parse the CSV data and we're just going to basically build up that, that CSV into a string and then save that string by passing into create file. 
So let's just run that through. Continue, run flow. Now I'll monitor that CSV file being created. So that's been done. So let me just check. Yep, so there's communitydata.csv. So let's, I'm going to open it in Excel. And there you can see there's that file that's been created. Okay, hope that helps.